it is necessary for us to really address issues related to violence in our city overall and violence that impacts our youth because if we don't deal with what is impacting our youth, then we don't have a future. We will lose hope for the future here in Baltimore City. What we're looking for is the teachable moment to get them either before they lose all hope or when they are losing hope, that teachable moment to bring them back. That point where you can say, okay, this has happened, but what can we do so that it doesn't happen again? That stabbing, that gunshot, that whatever it is, if it's gotten to the extreme where they've gotten to Dr. Scalia, my job and the work that we're hoping to do with the Center for Violence Prevention is yes, to work with Dr. Scalia, but to work so that they never get to him in shock trauma. What we wanna do is to design programs, to work so that we interrupt the violence before it gets to him. Research can show what works and what doesn't work. So research used in this way, if we could look at ways that, that all of these different types of programs, and it's not just, you know, medical model. This is social work model, public health model, law model, diversion programs, court diversion programs for youth who are perpetrators of violence. We're looking at different court diversion programs. I'm so excited to work with the law school because being able to measure how some of these programs work is, I, I, can you just imagine all of this? So, so yes, being able to work cross-cutting, being able to apply research and see how we can impact and reduce violence, the, the, the the chances, the second chances that we can give to so many youth and young adults in this city, the research that, come, that can come out of this can, that can be applied nationally, I am so excited about what we can do.